Today we're looking a little bit more at secants. We'll also talk a little bit more about tangents and we're looking at the lengths of these things. I know what you're thinking, hey, a secant is a line. It goes on forever. A tangent's a line. It goes on forever. True. Uh, but we're thinking about secant segments, tangent segments today. Um, a segment of a secant with at least one endpoint on the circle is a secant segment. So notice here we have the secant line, but from A to C, that is a secant segment. From B to C, that is a secant segment. From A to B, that is a secant segment, because those are parts of a secant that have endpoints on our circle. All right. Now, when we're looking at two secant segments intersecting each other, like we have in this diagram right here, the length of the entire secant segment times the length of the outside portion is going to be equal to the length of the entire other secant segment to its outside portion. AC times AB is equal to AE times AD. Let's see how that plays out. We want to find X in this diagram right here. Well, we know the, enti the length of the entire secant segment over here, which is not 27, it's 30, times its outside segment, the external three centimeters, 30 times three must equal this entire secant segment times its outside portion. That entire secant segment is not nine, nine is just right there, that entire secant segment is nine plus x. And we multiply it times its outside portion, which is x. Take a second and think about that. The entire length times the outside is equal to the entire length times the outside portion. 30 times three is 90. This gives us nine x plus x squared. Oh, x squared, this is a quadratic. We have a quadratic equation to solve. I'm already excited. We can set this equal to zero. Rearrange this a little bit. I did have to subtract the 90 over. We can solve this by factoring. Two things that multiply to get 90, add to get, or multiply to get a negative 90, add to get nine. Hey. Yes, that would be a positive 15 and a negative 6. So when we solve this using the zero product property, of course we set each factor equal to zero. That gives us x equals 6 or x equals a negative 15, but x is a length of a segment. It can't be negative 15. x must be 6. x is 6. Now, if one of our segments is a tangent, notice how this is slightly different. Okay, we still have a secant segment intersecting a tangent segment. In order to do this, we take the length of the entire secant times the length of the outside portion times that tangent squared. I like to think of it as still the same thing. The length of the entire times the length of the outside portion the length of the entire tangent times the length of the outside portion. It, those just happen to be the same thing twice. Here we want to find x. Well, I know it's going to be the length of this entire secant segment. 16 plus 9. Why am I, why am I typing that in? I know it's 25. The length of the entire secant segment times the length of the outside portion equal to the tangent segment squared. 25 times 9 is 225. The square root of 225 is 15. X would have to be 15. Finally, um, in the diagram shown, an observer is in a hot air balloon. This is not the scale. 
Um, two and a half miles above the Earth's surface. Clearly, the, the Earth and the balloon are not almost the same size. Um, assume the Earth is a sphere with an approximate diameter of 7,920 miles. Find the distance from O to H to determine the distance between the person and the balloon and the horizon that's shown. Okay, we know the diameter 7,920. We know they're about two and a half miles above the Earth's surface. I know the entire length of the secant segment, which would be 79, 22 and a half, times the outside portion, which is two and a half, is equal to the tangent, which I'm gonna label as x, the tangent segment squared. So if I work through this, gives me 19806.5 equals x squared. I take the square root of both sides. x is about 140.73 miles. We were looking to find the distance between the person and the balloon and the horizon. They're about 140.73 miles from the horizon.